What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to run RTX Voice on a secondary GPU. As you can see I got a 1080 Ti and a 1060. I use two GPUs to run multiple monitors and this is mainly my gaming monitor so if I'm going to run RTX Voice at any time I might as well run it on my secondary GPU as to not impact performance even though it doesn't seem to hit my card too hard. So right here you can see it's at 0%. Um, this one's, you know, going from 8 to 9 it looks like. But if I just tap here and here, it jumps up to 1 to 2%. So it is using it, even though it's not hitting it too hard. So how you can actually enable this to run on your secondary GPU is just by going to RTX Voice right here. You're going to need to find the file location. So if you don't know how to do that, I'm showing you that right now. So like I just said, RTX voice, then just click file location. This comes up and you just right click here, open file location. Now you've got a path and it's obviously right here. You just left click the white space and it highlights it, copy. All right, we don't need it anymore. Now you just go to the NVIDIA control panel and go to manage 3D settings, program settings. It's already here for me, but it's going to be a little harder for you, so I'm just going to remove it for the tutorial's sake. Now we're going to add it. You're going to probably have to browse. And it already came up for me, but let's just say I was somewhere else. Yep, just click this white space again. Remove it and hit Control V. And it should send you right where you need to go. If it doesn't send you right where you need to go, you might have to delete some parentheses and some other stuff. Make sure that the path that was here before is actually gone. And you might even have to delete all the way up to here. And then you just click this NVIDIA RTX voice folder. Either way, you get to the CXE and you hit open. From here, you just scroll down until you find the CUDA GPUs. Use these GPUs and select whichever GPU you want to use. I'm going to use the one I don't use for gaming and click OK and apply. Uh, I'm not sure if you'll need to restart your program but if you need to do that we can just go over here hit quit and now it is uh, running so yeah let's see if we can get it to drop back down to zero now okay well it's at solid one so does it come up and it, it went up uh, yeah it's at least jumping between 1 and 2 right now. There's probably some other background program using that 1%. It's pretty steady at uh, 2. So if this video helped you, please leave a like and subscribe. And if it didn't help you, comment down below and maybe I can help you out. Maybe check out some of the other videos I've got. I've got plenty of how-tos that could be useful or even uh, edgy gaming videos if that's what you're into.